Alright everyone, I wanted to make a video to see what's the exact power consumption of a NEMA 17 engine motor because people buy very big power supplies for them you see these, there are five of them in this circuit <coughs> and they have a 2.8 volt rating I think it's three millihenry inductance and two two amperes per phase. So basically, people would buy for these uh, uh, if you want a twenty-four volt supply, so you can run them a bit faster. People would buy a ten amp power supply for these, saying that each of these motors is two amps times five. That's ten amps. But I'm not sure that's how it works. So today we're gonna put it to the test and see what happens. <clears throat> this here, this is the voltage that's being fed to, to the drivers. There are five, five of these standard um, A4988 drivers here. <clears throat> There's no fan for them, so we're gonna have to move a little quickly so to see. Right. <coughs> so. Let's open Garble and see what happens. This is the maximum, the maximum amps that's going in the circuit that's measured here on the multimeter so now we're connected uh, the the vref the vref for these drivers is set at about 0 0.85 volts so basically each each of these motors should receive 1.7 amps of current right so are they currently in tension no as you can see i can spin them freely <clears throat> there's no power through them the first test is gonna be with them turned on and not doing nothing so if we go to terminal there is that dollar one in garble settings that's the step idle delay if we do a dollar one equals 255 that means the motors are already are on all the time so hit enter in order to enable the motors you need to make them move first so let's them let's make them move Okay, so now they are all in tension. You can't spin any of them. Okay. And they are drawing about 600 and I mean they drew when they move like 636 milliamps at 24 volts. Okay. So now let's try to move all five motors at the same time at, at a slow speed and see if we can increase this maximum here <coughs> say uh, G1 X 20 Y 20 Z 20 F 10 Okay, we're gonna stop that because you see it's not increasing, so the maximum is still at 0.642 amps 
Now let's try to do a, a faster move like G0 X0 Y0 Z0 so this is going to home all axis I think I have it set up at a 500 millimeters per second so let's see how this goes so you see at high speed the current is increasing like 834 milliamps so that's good to note that if you want to move these at high speed let me actually see what's happening what is happening here uh, yes I have the homing the homing speed set at 500 millimeters per minute okay so this is moving all five motors at the same time you get almost one amp okay now let's try to do something else maybe you we, we can get uh, even higher feed rate say for instance um, G1 X10 Y10 Z10 and the feed rate of 1000 we might stall them but who knows okay so this is at 1000 millimeters per minute I think that's almost at at the current uh, step per second second that's setting that's like <clears throat> almost 15 revolutions per second here but I have to double check that so we're still only getting one amp from the power supply only one amp at 24 volts this is the maximum value that was recorded okay um, now what happens if we do a real a real world job here if we open a G code and then try to actually run it okay let's do let's do this one because it's short so this is a actually G code simulation if you do let's hit play and see I don't know how to reset this thing so you can see in real time. What the fuck? It's either minimum or maximum. What the fuck? I just stopped it for a second so I can reset the meter. I don't have time for this bullshit. So let's see what happens when we put the power back on. So this is real time measurement. You see here the voltage is, is kept high, it's constant. So with all the motors here happy and working. <coughs> we get about 600 milliamps of power the last thing that I would like to try to, to demonstrate this is if I try to add a bit of load to the motors and see if that changes it okay so say I'm gonna hold these shafts with, with all my strength so there's a, a load I'm gonna run this G code again and see if we can actually I want the maximum again if we can actually increase that 
one amp value. Holding them really hard. It is so much torque. I can't, I can't keep them in place. Okay, so that's 0 0.8 amps, okay, and let's do another, another try, but this time with no load like before, I had no time to, to work with this multimeter, so ah. okay, let's try again, start. So we got 0.8 with a load and let's see what happens. It's the same thing. I'll just set it to the max. So let's stop this because it's already a, a 12 minute video uh, what what I mean is you can see the measurements exactly we are we never crossed 25 watts with with these five motors here so basically if you get a 1.5 ampere power supply you can run all these five engines on 1 ampere 24 volts and be fine maybe get two amps like 44 watts and and that's gonna be even better but you don't need 24 volts and 10 amps to run these motors okay 